everyone this is Kalpana here so in this video we are going to solve a differential equation using variable separable method problem solve dy by dx equals to y square plus 2y by x minus 1 solution given dy by dx equals to y square plus 2y by x minus 1 okay given equation so you could write it as dy by take this numerator of RHS2 the denominator of LHS equals to take this dx2 RHS of sorry numerator of RHS by x minus 1 okay so here you are having dy by y square plus 2y. So, using partial fraction method, we can write this total fraction into partial fractions. Let's consider 1 by y square plus 2y. So, this equals to now, you can take y common from these two terms. So, you will get y into y plus 2. This equals to, you are having y and y plus 2 both are linear so you will get a by y you would write it as a by y plus b by y plus 2 ok you can consider it as equation 1 so from this let's consider 1 by y into y plus 2 equals to a by y plus b by y plus 2 so the LCM of y and y plus 2 is y ones are y y plus 2 ones are so as you have y and y plus 2 is y into y plus 2 so you could write it as 1 by y into y plus 2 equals to a okay LCM of y and y plus 2 is y into y plus 2 so if you consider the first fraction you are having y in the denominator so leave this y multiply the y plus 2 to this a so you will get a into y plus 2 in the numerator plus b into since you are having y plus 2 in the denominator of the second fraction so you will multiply this with y you will multiply b with y so you will get b into y now you can cancel y y y plus 2 y plus 2 this becomes 1 equals to a into y plus 2 plus b y now let y plus 2 equals to 0 consider y plus 2 put y plus 2 equals to 0 then you will get y equals to minus 2 now substitute y equals to minus 2 in this equation let us consider it as equation number 2 so now put y equals to minus 2 in equation 2. So you will get 1 equals to a into minus 2 plus 2 plus b into minus 2. We get 1 equals to minus 2 plus 2 is 0. So you will get a into 0 plus into minus minus to b and this will get 1 equals to minus 2 b whereas b equals to minus 1 by 2 ok so you are having the value of b therefore b equals to I write it here therefore b equals to minus 1 by 2 now we have to find the value of unknown a ok Now to find the value of A, we will compare the quotient of Y. Okay. In order to compare the quotient of Y easily, we will just simplify this total equation. So, you will get AY plus 2A plus BY. We have AY and BY, the terms of Y I can say. 
two terms of y. So now compare coefficient of y. Also, you could write it as 0 into y plus 1 so that you can compare the quotient of y easily. In the left hand side, you are having the quotient of y is 0 equals to In the right hand side, you are having two terms, right? So, you will get a plus b. Okay, by comparing quotient of y, we have 0 equals to a plus b. Also, we have b equals to minus 1 by 2 since b equals to minus 1 by 2. So, now substitute the value of b here. We we'll get 0 equals to a minus 1 by 2. From this, we will get a equals to take this minus 1 by 2 to left hand side. You will get plus 1 by 2. So, we are having the values of a and b now. We are having a equals to plus 1 by 2 and b equals to minus 1 by 2. Now we can substitute the values in equation 1. Okay. Then equation 1 becomes 1 by y square plus 2 y equals to 1 by y into y plus 2 equals to a. You are having a equals to 1 by 2 by y plus b is minus 1 by 2 by y plus 2. So, this equals to 1 by 2 into y minus into plus minus 1 by 2 into y plus 2. So, you can replace 1 by y square plus 2y by 1 by 2y minus 1 by 2 into y plus 2. Okay. So, the given equation can be written as it can be written as one by 2y minus 1 by 2 into y plus 2 into dy equals to 1 by x minus 1 into dx. You can write it as 1 by 2y into dy minus 1 by 2 into y plus 2 into dy equals to 1 by x minus 1 into dx. Integrating integral 1 by 2y into dy minus integral 1 by 2 into y plus 2 into dy equals to integral 1 by x minus 1 into dx. Now you can write the constants outside the integral. You are having 1 by 2, 1 by 2 constant in the first two integrals. So you can take it outside the integral. You will get 1 by 2 into integral 1 by y dy minus 1 by 2 into integral 1 by y plus 2 into dy equals to integral 1 by x minus 1 into dx. Since integral 1 by x into dx equals to log mod x plus c and integral 1 by ax plus b into dx equals to 1 by a log mod ax plus b plus c and integral f dash of x by f of x into dx is equals to 
log mod f of x plus c. Okay, so you could write it as let's write the let's write it as it is one by two into integral one by y to dy equals to one by two into one by y plus two to dy. This is minus, right? Let's write this as it is minus one by two into integral one by y plus two into dy equals to integral one by x minus one into dx. Now we are going to apply the formula. Okay. Since you have integral one by x into dx equals to log mod x plus c, so you could write it as one by two into log mod y minus one by two into integral one by a x plus b equals to one by a into log mod a x plus b. Okay. So in order to solve these two integrals, you can use any of these two formula. Okay, you can use any of these two formula. If you want to choose this, see you are having the place of x. You are having y, right? So the coefficient of y is a, which is equals to one. So you could write it as one by one by one into log mod a one into x plus b plus Okay, integral constant finally will write. Okay. Or if you want to choose the second formula, take f of x equals to y plus two. Then we'll have f dash of x. You could write it as y, right? Since you're having the variable y, so f dash of y equals to one. This derivative of two with respect to f y is zero. So we have f dash of y equals to one. So if you consider this formula, integral f dash of y by f of y into d y is equals to integral one by f of y one plus y plus two into d y is equals to log mod f of x. That is, you'll get log mod. Y plus two. Same answer, right? So you can use any of these two formulae. Which is equals to. Similarly, here also, we can use any of these two formulae. So you could write it as one by one. In the place of a, you are having one, right? To log mod a x. B, your B is minus one. Fine. Plus integral constant C. You could write it as one by two into log y minus one by two into log y plus two equals to log. This is one into okay, not minus. We have x minus one plus. See, you are having the three terms in log in terms of log. So you can write the integral constant in terms of log. So instead of writing c, you can write log c, which is also a constant. Okay. So from these two terms, you can take one by two common. You would write it as one by two into log y minus log y plus two. This is of the form log a plus log b, which is equals to log a into b. 
log a plus log b equals to log a b or log a into b. So this becomes 1 by 2 into since log a minus log b equals to log a by b. So you could write it as log y by y plus 2 equal to RHS as it is log c into x minus 1. Since we know that a log b is equals to log b power a. So if you compare a by 1 by 2 and b by y by y plus 2, you could write it as log b power 1 by 2, which is equals to log c into x minus 1. Since if log a equals to log b, then a equals to b, since we have, if log a equals to log b, then a equals to b. So, this becomes y by y plus 2 power 1 by 2 equals to c into x minus 1. Okay. Fine. Now, squaring on both sides, you'll get y by y plus 2 or 1 by 2 whole square equals to c into x minus 1 whole square since a power m whole power m equals to a power m into n. So you could write it as y by y plus 2 power 2 by 2 1 by 2 into 2 is 2 by 2 equals to c square into x minus 1 square. Okay. So from this we will get y by y plus 2 equals to c square into x minus 1 square. Okay. See here we forgot to write. No, nothing. We'll get y equals to c square into x minus 1 whole square into y plus 2. Which is the required solution. So we have seen a problem in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.